Nigerians now resort to buying half pepper because of high food costs. Emia Sanusi. Well, Nigerian politicians, you know, sees everything like politics. Just like what they are saying, that those who want to protest are those people who lost election uh, in 20, uh, the 2023 presidential election and all that. Those are the people who want the protest and all that. But they don't want to see the reality on ground. You understand? Because they are very far from the people. They don't care. They don't care. So they don't even really know what people are going through. The way they are say, uh, they are talking about the protest Nigerians are saying they, they are set to protect and bad governance in Nigeria. Politicians are not saying this. You get. Sanusi said many Nigerians are now forced to buy only half portions of food items, which is very, very correct, such as half a pepper, <laughs> due to soaring prices. A situation described as unbearable by the 16th Emir of Kano, Muhammad Sanusi II, speaking at a recent event where free fertilizers were distributed to 52,800 smallholder farmers in Kano states. Sanusi highlighted the, the severe economic strain on households. Sanusi stated, people are in a dire situation. I am aware that people now resort to buying half pepper because of the high cost of food items. This is unbearable. But I think with efforts like this, people can get some relief. The fertilizer distribution aims to support farmers and enhance food security, providing 25 kg of fertilizers to each receipt, including women and people with disabilities, Channel's TV reports. While praising the Kano state government for its initiative, Sanusi called for continued action to tackle the ongoing economic challenges. The Kano state governor, Abba Yusef, affirmed his commitment to supporting farmers and ensuring affordable food. The emirs of Gaya and Karai supported the program with Emir of Gaya, Ali Ibrahim, noting his significance for food security, and Emir of Karai, Muhammad Ma Maraz, hopeful about its positive impact on the farming community. Representatives from the All Farmers Association of Nigeria also expressed appreciation for the initiative, emphasizing its potential to reduce food costs and support farmers. So guys, now they hear so, Nigerians don't they buy half pepper, which is very correct. You understand? This is the kind of emir we want. The kind that says the, the masses and not party emir. Okay. Only a year and two months on a done they cry like this. In the next two years, acute hunger go go key half of the population now. Okay. Uh are you not the one that advised the federal government to withdraw subsidy? Welcome back to the headline, His Highness. We have missed you, your naked truth for long. Digital Emir. Don't worry, Oga Presido, don't sign 70,000 Naira bill into a law. Soon, every Nigerian citizen go, they drive bins and unago, they buy the pepper for bags. They not shall stop disturbing this country. Hmm. These are reactions from Nigerians. Oh. Muslim Muslim ticket is the best for Nigeria. This is part of teaching Peter Obi lesson. Only Tinubu Muhammad. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm not going to pick up that one. 
Let's put an end to bad governance in Nigeria. The Northerners get problem. None of them condemn Buhari during a tenure. Nigeria with Northern Muslims would have been for developed, would have been far. Nigeria without Northern Muslims would have been far developed. Non-tribalistic Yoruba should try and convince their tribalistic counterparts that that an average Fulani enjoys suffering. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. We just have to stop talking plenty because all this talking, 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 he not go feed, bring any positive, you know, impact to us. Yeah, it's good and fine. That is what they, they did during Muhammad Buhari. They said nothing about it, but they are feeling it. Yes, they are feeling it. It was really surprising a few days ago that Castina not, uh, not Castina Edas, we are calling on more President Bola Tinubu to address the banditry issue in their states and other uh, northern part of the country. You can imagine that. But when their son was there, they said nothing about those things. Even when people were complaining about it, they, keep, they kept mute, like nothing is going on. We cannot say anything about the, our leader. Islam is against it. They came with a Muslim, Muslim ticket and all that. Look at what is going on. God wants to teach Nigerians a lesson. And if we don't learn now, we will learn in a very hard way. God is teaching this country lesson. Everybody must to learn. Since we have allowed religion and tribalism, you know, to, to remove our sense, now God is teaching us a lesson. We have to learn. People should go for people, go for a leader you know that is competent. Not be say because party affiliation, uh, religion, whatever, and tribalism. Nigerians are getting it very, very tough now. Well, you've all heard what Sanusi said. He has just a kind of, you know, talking to the government. Nigerians are not enjoying this, your policy. You have to do something about it. You understand? We need people to speak the truth to the authority, not be waiting the authority one here. Oh, now the opposition parties, now then they sponsor protest. You know, if you go call person for a house, tell and say, talk, say you they hungry. It not make sense now. Because action of someone who is hungry is different from action of someone who is not hungry. This time around, Nigerians, they don't see, they don't see me. I bet make a drop up for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.